Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? This is Tweak back again with a, another video. Now, today is something uh, that I wasn't really planning on making yet because I feel like it's already way too early in the wipe. But seeing as that people are already, you know, kind of uh, throwing out their ideas and stuff because this wipe, the progression's kind of gone really quickly. The economy's kind of don't really know what's going on because of bitcoins and graphics cards and all this other stuff and just everybody kind of has tons of money and people are kind of looking to well you know what what do we do to fix this um so i had this idea probably i don't know i want to say like a year and a half ago and i just never put it in video form because i thought i don't know i'd probably get a load of shit and people probably wouldn't really like the idea very much but we talked about it on stream a little bit i got some positive feedback on it and then we were talking about it the other day as well and i thought well oh well here's my idea but we're going to slightly alter it a little bit to kind of, uh, as my cats are making tons of noise outside my office, um, and then slightly alter the idea a little bit to kind of fit what's happening with EFT at the moment, because everybody has tons of money. If you have your Bitcoin farm at all, you are absolutely loaded. You are probably never going to need to worry about money for the rest of the wipe. As long as you log in once a day, grab your Bitcoin, whatever, you know, you're going to be fine. So. What's my idea? Well, I suggest that we take Fence, we basically delete him, delete what he is right now, because nobody uses Fence. I, I, I don't know who uses Fence. The only reason I use Fence is I sell broken visors to him that I can't sell to other traders um, that I don't want to bother repairing. I just sell it to Fence. And all the other crap that goes on to Fence... 99.999% of the stuff that's on there is crap. And then any good stuff that does get sold to fence ends up being sold back to you at like a really, really high price. So in my opinion, I think fence is useless. I don't understand the point of him right now. He's just kind of there to be there. Like fence was basically our flea market before the flea market existed. And now that we have a flea market, there isn't really any point for fence. So what I'm suggesting is we change fence to the black market dealership, basically, okay? Now, what we're going to do on top of this is we are going to remove all of the best weapon attachments in the game. We're going to take them off the standard traders. We're also going to remove all class 5 and all class 6 armors. And we're also going to remove all of the high-end ammo off the traders. And we're going to remove it from the flea market. And yeah, we're going to remove basically the armor, the ammo, and the super endgame weapon attachments all from the flea market and from all the traders, okay? So that everything that is on the traders and that you can buy off the flea market is stuff up to class 4 armor. And ammo, let's say, up to like, I don't know, BT rounds for 545 AKs. But you can't buy Igelnik or you can't buy BS. So for example, the only way to get Igelnik would be you kill Killa. You get it there, or maybe you find packs of ammo during a raid, or uh, for BS rounds, you have to buy it from the black market, or you have to find it in raid, or maybe craft it. Now, one thing I want to say about the crafting stuff, I would like to make it so that the crafting supplies for a lot of this ammo can only be bought from the black market instead of currently, you know, being farmed in raid. I would rather you have to kind of get the tokens from the black market and then you buy the crafting item for the ammo that you want and then you can craft it. Um, but maybe you can buy it in such a way that like, oh, if you spend this much, well, you can get this much ammo now. You know, it depends on how much you spend. But this is just like the outline of it. Now, you might be asking, well, how do I get, you know, the currency for the black market? And how does this pertain to Bitcoins? Well, here's what I'm suggesting for Bitcoins. We take the price of Bitcoins, right? And we cut it back to 150k each and we leave it there. And that's it. It doesn't stay attached to the IRL Bitcoin price. It just goes to 150k and we leave it there. And it never gets changed ever again. That's just its static price forever. It sells the therapist for that much. That's it. Okay. Now, the same thing is going to happen with lion statues, clocks, cat statues, GP coins, pro kill necklaces, all of the stuff that is considered valuable items in Tarkov all have these static prices and they all have their prices lowered. So let's say, I don't know, a lion statue to therapist is 70k, a clock statue is 30k, a cat statue is like 25k, whatever, okay? So, 
this gives you a choice. You go to Fence or the, the black market dealership, right? And you go, hmm, right. So with my Bitcoins, I could trade those in for 300K, right? Or I could trade them into Fence and I could get black market tokens. And that would let me be, you know, one step closer to getting a slick armor that I could use for a raid. Or it could get me one step closer to getting like the Reese T helmet that I want to run or the Alton that I want to run. Maybe, maybe for two Bitcoins, I can buy an Alton or something like that. Okay. Or it's like, oh, okay. Or I could, you know, this could be two budget kits for me. Like I could get this decent class four plate carrier. I could get, you know, a couple of BT rounds for my AK. I could get a scope and a bastion rail or something, maybe. So you'd be making decisions on whether you want to trade in your valuable stuff for either rubles, which will only ever get you up to like mid-tier ammos and up to like class four armor from the traders. And that's it. And then whatever other stuff you want to buy off the flea market, okay? Or do I trade it all in for black market currency that I can use to buy higher end stuff? So I'm suggesting that the valuable stuff we use for that. Now, other ways that you can earn the black market tokens, right? Killing scab bosses. There's a chance that scab bosses will have uh, black market credit cards on them. You give those into the black market dealer and he gives you credits for it. Every single time you kill a scab boss, they will have a different amount of like denominations. So it would be like, let's say, for example, we scale it from one to 100. You could get really lucky and kill a scav guard that has a 95 on their black market credit card or whatever, okay? Or you could get unlucky and he maybe only has three on it and then you don't get that much currency. But every time you kill a different scab boss or whatever, you know, you have a chance of getting this card that has X amount of currency on it, okay? Another way to get it, Fence or the black market dealership will now have daily, weekly, and monthly missions. For these missions, for the weekly ones, you know, you get a decent chunk of currency. For the daily ones, you get a little bit. For the monthly ones, you get a big chunk. Now, the monthly quests are going to be hard. The weekly quests are going to be difficult-ish. And then the daily ones are probably going to be like pretty easy stuff. Like maybe one of the easy missions could be survive two raids in a row. Or survive a raid on customs interchange in woods today or something like that. And then you get the quest completed and then you get your black market credits or whatever. Another idea that I had for this as well which would kind of tie into progression, and it would be very interesting to see the percentage of players that would go one way or the other for this. I know what I would do, but I am suggesting that quest rewards in Tarkov, now, if we if this system was ever implemented, you do your quest in Tarkov, right? And then there's a set of rewards, okay? Now, so what you can do is you can either choose to take the regular quest rewards, okay? So let's say the quest reward is for like one of the gunsmith quests. You get a Bitcoin, you get, you know, a gun with a thermal on it or whatever, and then you get X amount of experience, right? You can choose that or you can take the reward in black market currency. But you don't get any XP, you don't get any of the other rewards. So all of the super mega sweats to play Tarkov, right, would choose to do obviously the black market currency because once we hit level 40 we want to be able to go straight to fence and get some of our end game stuff right and then what this is going to do is it's going to make all of the you know the elitist tarkov community or whatever much slower to get to level 40 meanwhile everybody else can kind of get up to scratch and they can get to whatever gear they want you know and they'll at least be running around with their class fours with their bts and stuff like that and maybe opting to choose kind of half and half, right? I'll take this one for my black market currency. And I'll take this one for like the standard quest reward or whatever. So I was thinking that could be a cool idea. Um, But yeah, I also thought that some of the missions for the uh, for fence or the black market dealer would be stuff like, you know, go kill bosses, maybe missions pertaining to labs. Uh, a lot of the missions would probably take place on streets of Tarkov when it comes out. Um, or stuff like, you know, planting spy gear in certain locations and he gives you like the equipment for it and you've got to go do that. Um, and then a lot of the quests that he would have as well should also be PvP related, I feel like. Uh, maybe PvP with a certain weapon, a certain loadout or something like that. And, you know, depending on how, like the harder the mission, the more credits you get. 
so that was my idea for that basically um and then yeah i don't know I, I i think it'd be a cool idea it would be a pretty like interesting mechanic i'm obviously looking for feedback on it because this is a pretty like you know this is a pretty early like concept for the idea considering the kind of like bitcoin economy crisis that we have right now i was also thinking as well uh that you know the scab box in your hideout that brings you back loot so I was thinking that valuable items can be used in the scab box as almost a bribe for the scavs so that they get the bonus upon completion and they bring you back whatever stuff. But the more valuable the item you give them, so like a Bitcoin being the best, right? You're gambling a Bitcoin on your, let's say, moonshine scab box and then you're adding in a Bitcoin as a chance at getting a higher tier of loot out of it. Except when you do that, you can now choose, okay, I would like you to prioritize bring, bringing me back ammo, armor, uh, weapons or like attachments or whatever. And there'd be like a big list of like maybe hideout upgrades and stuff like that. And this could be, you get a little bit of control over what they bring you back instead of it being completely random all the time. And what this works as as well is also like another money sink in Tarkov and it aims to remove more things from the game and add in useful stuff that gets cycled in and actually used in raid by your character um so yeah i just i don't know i thought that would be pretty sweet so you could you know you maybe someday you don't have a bitcoin you could give him like a lion statue or i don't know a roller or something like that but i think that all the valuable items on the flea market should i think all the valuable items shouldn't be allowed to be sold on the flea market because let's take, for example, Rolexes. They're not that rare, okay? But because of the hideout, Rolexes are now worth five or 600K. If I run a couple of customs raids, I will find a few rollers in the safes if I decide to hit them all. And that's, that's an insane amount of money. Like, that's so much money. Um, and also by adding in this black market system, we're also devaluing rubles a little bit because there's only so much you can do with rubles. You actually have to go into raids and explore and PVP and earn that higher level gear rather than just hatchet running getting a bitcoin putting it up your ass leaving the raid and now you have 800k that you didn't do anything for at least this way you'd have to earn it and money up to a certain point doesn't let you just become this unstoppable goliath that can run all this great gear every single raid it would also make it so that it is exciting to run into somebody who is really geared because these days Every level 10 to level 40 that I'm seeing is all wearing the exact same gear that some dude who's level 70 is wearing because of the flea market. You can just buy whatever you want. It doesn't matter. A lot of these people will do pistol runs all day or hatchet runs all day. They'll run shoreline. They'll run reserve. They'll run whatever map they want. They will stick valuable things up their ass. They'll leave the raid. And by the end of the day, if you do that for a whole day, you will have millions and millions and millions of rubles on top of the Bitcoin farm that is already making you how much money every single day. We need to devalue this stuff. We need to make it rarer to run into this kind of gear. And I think this could be a fun way of doing it. So when you log into Tarkov every day, even if you have all your quests complete, you now have other stuff to worry about doing where you're trying to earn these black market credits to get to all of the best end game gear. And even by earning these credits, I'm not saying that like any end game player that plays for 12 hours a day is going to be able to earn enough credits every day to run this kind of gear every single raid. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be, you know, you're going to have to like grind a decent bit. And then when you do finally see somebody with a slick armor, you know, that guy's probably played the game for quite a bit. And, you know, if you kill him, he's going to be pretty damn upset about it, you know? And then when you find that gear, it's going to be a big thing. It's going to be like, oh my God, I need to get out of this raid with this gear. This is sick. This guy has spent days farming this on the black market or whatever. Well, maybe not days, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of throwing this idea out there so people can kind of throw your ideas down in the comments. And then, you know, I'd be excited to read the comments and see, uh, see how people feel about it. Because I think this is a pretty cool idea because in Tarkov right now, we're stuck in a place where everything is super inflated. Graphics cards are almost 2 million rubles. Tetrises. Bitcoins. 800k. Um, rollers. You know, 600k. All this stuff that isn't really rare. You run a couple of interchange raids, you're going to find one of them. And it doesn't take that long to run through an interchange raid. 
Um, but yeah, we've gotten to this point where like there's just money everywhere and it's insane how much money is in the game right now and it needs to be brought back and it needs to be filtered and it needs to be nerfed and it needs to be figured out before next wipe because if it's not figured out before next wipe and we get another wipe of just money being king for everything and everything is plentiful supplies uh the player base for the game is going to start going like this because i already know that myself and a lot of other people are losing interest in tarkov a little bit because well there's no risk rewards to anything anymore we are all absurdly rich. We all have enough money for the rest of the wipe. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, don't play then. Or, oh, well, don't do this. It's like, it's not like, it, in my eyes anyway, this isn't the original vision for the game. And, um, I don't know, the game's kind of <clears throat> taking a taking a bit of a sidetrack, I feel like, for the moment while they're testing stuff out and trying to get things finished. And obviously, you know, they're waiting for our feedback and stuff. So, this is one of my feedbacks i guess so if somebody at bsg watches this thank you for watching i, I hope you enjoyed my idea and uh to everybody else leave a comment down below leave a like let me know what you think what you like what you don't like and before i finish this video i'm going to quickly go over my list here again and make sure i haven't left anything out and no it looks like i've kept everything in there so yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below what you guys think what you would change. Do you like this idea? Would you like to see it in the game? Let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you guys on the next video. Also, by the time this video goes live, I will probably be streaming. The link to my stream will be down in the description, twitch.tv slash tweak. Check out my other socials down there as well. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out, my dudes.